Hey you guys, welcome to one more Hui Raptor video. In this video, we will cover the installation of the auto level sensor for the TiVo Tarantula Pro. You can find this option available when buying the printer or you can add this upgrade later on. TiVo sells the complete kit and you can find the link in the video description below. The Tarantula Pro is already equipped with all the necessary wires inside to connect the sensor to the board and has a connection at the back side. So basically, we only need to have a cable from the sensor to the back connector. You can also make your own and for that, you will need to buy a BL Touch sensor, a 5 wire cable with a length of around 1.2 meters, a 5 pin female GX12 connector, a bit of heat shrink, 4 M3x8 screws and a couple of spacers. There are three set of wires inside the printer. One with the black and white wires will carry the signal that the board will understand as end stop signal. The black wire is the ground and must be connected to the G pin of the Z minus connector of the board. The white wire is the signal and must be connected to the S pin of the Z minus connector. The other with the red and brown wires will power the sensor and activate the mechanical part of the sensor. The red wire is for the 5 volts and must be connected to the V pin of the Z plus connector. The brown wire is the ground and must be connected to the G pin of the Z plus connector. The yellow one will be connected to pin number one of the servo header connector. Before you proceed with the installation, you need to check if your black and white wires are at the correct position in the female connector. In my case, the pins are reversed, so check all the wires and confirm their positions. To fix this, get a pair of tweezers and for each wrong wire, push in the pin on the side while pulling the wire out and insert it back at the correct position. Remove the Z mechanical end stop cable and connect all the other cables. You will also need to remove the Z end stop. In our case, our cable has almost all the same colors except for the brown one, which in this case is green, but the colors don't really matter. What matters is that you match the signals from the sensor to the board. The X carriage has already an area for the installation of the sensor. This area is located behind the hot end. These two holes will be used to secure the sensor. Start by securing the spacers to the sensor like this. The length of the spacers will vary according to the sensor you have. If you have the sensor kit from TiVo, you don't have to worry about this since they are already included. But if you bought the sensor separately, you need to check the trigger pin's length first. Some sensors have different trigger pins, and the longer the pin, the shorter the spacer you will have to install. For example, for the sensor that came from TiVo, we received a couple of 16mm long spacers. For this other sensor I have here, we need 13mm long spacers. If you can't find spacers with the exact length, you can buy shorter ones and add washers or M3 nuts, for example. I will show you how you can check this in a couple of minutes. So, take the sensor and keep it with the wires facing away from the hot end. Insert one of the screws at the top and place the sensor in. Secure the 
Secure the sensor with both screws. The cable can go through the side cable opening and secured with the zip tie with the rest of the cables. Now we need to confirm if the height of the sensor is correct. Look closely to the sensor pin and nozzle. With the sensor pin retracted, the pin must be higher than the nozzle. And with the sensor pin extended, the thicker part of the pin must be lower than the nozzle. Now it's time to modify the firmware. The firmware at the moment is set to use the mechanical end stop. So we need to flash a new version set for the BL Touch. If you go to TiVo's website, you will find a firmware ready for the BL Touch available for download. You can also get your own firmware version and modify it for the BL Touch sensor. Then you open it with the Arduino software, connect the printer to the PC with a USB cable and flash it. Check the link below for a more detailed video on how to flash the firmware. Once the upload is complete, disconnect the USB cable and turn on the printer. When turning the printer on, you should see and hear the sensor trigger the pin a few times and also change its color. Now it's time to test the sensor. Use the display and go to Control, BL Touch. Test the pin with the Deploy and Stow options. Go to Z offset, set a value of around negative 4 millimeters and store the value. Then move the Z halfway up. Next, get a small box, book or any other similar object. Now go to prepare and select home. The object will simulate your heat bed, so hold it and let it trigger the sensor. Make sure the sensor is triggered correctly and that the nozzle never touches the object. If everything is OK, select Home again and the printer should now home safely. Next, get a 0.1 mm thick piece of paper. We will need this to adjust the Z offset. Then, lower the Z in 0.1 mm increments until you feel the nozzle starting to rub against the paper. At that point, stop and take note of the value on the screen. The value means that you are at 1.6 millimeters from the height set by the leveling sensor. And as you can see, it's too far. So you will need to take the Z offset value and add 1.6. Please note that you are working with the negative value. So negative four plus 1.6 equals negative 2.4. And this negative 2.4 will be your new Z offset value. So go ahead 
and update the offset value and don't forget to store it. You can adjust this offset value as many times as you need, so later, when you run your first print, check how your first layer turns out. You can also use the baby steps function to help you with the first layer adjustments. Next, go to prepare and then level the bed. The printer should now probe the bed at nine different positions. Make sure it's probing on the bed and not over the leveling screws. Last but not least, don't forget to add the G29 command after the G28 home command on the start G code sequence on all your Tarantula Pro profiles. This way, every time you start a new print, it will start by homing all the axes and then probe the bed. And that's it you guys. Any questions, let us know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave us a like. And if you are not a subscriber yet, click on subscribe and don't forget to activate the little bell so that you can be notified every time we publish a new video. And if you like our channel and wish to help us make more cool videos, you can with Patreon or PayPal. Keep following us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye!